The menu section of the manager settings screen allows you to create, edit, and maintain your ordering menu within the system. First, let's look at departments. A department groups your available items together for ordering, printing, and reporting. Common examples include beverages, appetizers, entrees, and so on. To add a department, tap Add New in the lower left. Then enter a name for the department that makes sense for your reports. You can also add items to the department from here. To do this, select Tap to Edit, select the items you want to add to the department, then tap OK. As always, be sure to tap Save to commit your changes. The next tab is Items. Items represent the individual goods or services that you make available to your customers. Tap an item in the list to make changes to it. On the General sub-tab, you can change basic things like the name of the item, the price, revenue class, department, assign modifiers, and more. When creating a new item, keep in mind that the fields marked with a red asterisk are required. The Advanced sub-tab contains settings for less common modifications, such as an alternate name when printing, the printer that the item is assigned to, UPC for barcode scanning, whether the item is sold by weight, and more. The Accounting sub-tab allows you to view and assign applicable taxes at the item level while the Tracking sub-tab allows you to enter the current inventory count for the item. The Price Schedules sub-tab allows you to modify any assigned time schedules that change the price of the item. Unlike a discount, a price schedule can be configured to decrease or increase the price. Getting back to the main tabs, let's move on to Modifier Sets. A modifier set is a group of related modifiers that alter an item to your customer's preference. Common examples include pizza toppings and salad dressing. Tap a modifier set from the list to make changes to it. You can change the name of the set, the price of the modifiers in the set, whether a selection is required, and more. To add or remove modifiers from the set, select Tap to Edit. Then select the modifiers that you would like to add or remove. From here, you can also set whether certain modifiers will have a price of their own, which overrides the pricing assigned to the set. The Advanced sub-tab allows you to control which items that modifier set will apply to, as well as customize the way it will print. The Modifiers tab contains a list of the modifiers themselves. From here, you can set a modifier's name and printing options as well as the modifier sets that it will appear in. A nested modifier set will display a second layer of modifiers when the first one is chosen. Think of it like a modifier within a modifier. For streamlined ordering, you will want to avoid using these unless absolutely necessary. The Tags tab allows you to attach tags to items. In contrast to departments, tags are used to categorize items in a way that may be ever-changing such as weekly specials. Simply add or select a tag from the left, set the name, then configure the items associated with it. The Favorites tab is a customized view of items available alongside the departments. Tap on the item to assign or unassign it from Favorites. For restaurants that do meal coursing, the Coursing tab is where you would configure how your items are categorized within a course. Default categories include appetizers, entrees, desserts, and others. Tap to assign departments or items to these categories, and they will print to the kitchen in the order that they are assigned. Finally, the Scheduled Pricing tab allows you to set up different price points for particular times and dates. This is commonly used for things like happy hour or band nights. Add or select a scheduled pricing group from the list, name the schedule, Select the appropriate days of the week, then set the time range. You can tap Add Schedule to add additional coverage within a scheduled pricing group.